freedom, liberty. Well, these are words we love here in America. We're free. And so many of us think that that means we're free to do whatever we want to do. Go where wherever we want to go. To work wherever we want to work. To act like we want to act. But that's not real freedom. Real freedom is not doing what you want to do, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, but real freedom is doing what you ought to do. And really then, be free to love, to live, to have joy, to enjoy life. Freedom, what a big word. There's something in the human heart that seeks to be free. Well, the Bible teaches that we're either a slave to sin or we're a slave to righteousness. In the book of Romans chapter 6, and actually we'll be coming back to this in another study here in a few weeks, but in Romans chapter 6, the Apostle Paul wrote, Are we to sin because we're not under the law but under grace? In other words, we can do what we want to do? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourself to anyone as obedient slaves, you're slave to the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you were once slaves of sin, now you have become obedient from the heart, the standard of teaching to which you're committed, and having been set free from sin, you have become the slaves of righteousness. You're the slave of doing right. Years ago, I had the privilege and honor and actually opportunity uh, that someone mentioned a book called Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Donald Whitney. Boy, did I enjoy that book. It helped me understand what discipline can do for us in setting us free. See, we think being free is sleeping as long in the morning as I want to sleep, getting up when I want to get up, and then doing what I want to do. No, no. Real freedom, again, is doing what I ought to do. And so if I discipline myself and practice the disciplines, it'd be like Mark Spitz. He, he, he disciplined himself to practice hour after hour after hour every day, and then he was free to win the Olympic gold medal. The runner, he runs day after day. He runs hundreds and thousands of miles preparing for the Olympics. Yes, it's a discipline every day to get up and get through the hurt and the pain and the suffering of discipline. But then the big race comes. He's free to run that race with great freedom and win the gold medal. Yeah, real freedom is being able to attain the real goals that God has set in my life for His glory. And that is freedom. And in this book, Donald Whitney talks about the spiritual disciplines of the Christian life. Disciplines to bring yourself under the control of God and the Holy Spirit to do what you ought to do. Then be free to live as God really intended for you to live. I, I've been wanting to get to this verse in Galatians chapter 6 because the Apostle Paul says in chapter 6 verse 6, Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. He that sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. You see, you can either today be undisciplined, live like you want to live, or you can sow to the Spirit, come under the control of the Holy Spirit, walk in the Spirit, live by the Spirit, and then you will enjoy the fruits of righteousness, eternal life, and holy living, free to really live. Oh, I want to encourage you today. Submit yourself to truth. Submit yourself to God's Word. Submit yourself to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And when you do, you become the slave to righteousness, doing what's right and enjoying life like you could have never enjoyed it any other way. Oh, Today. I love this passage, Romans chapter, Galatians chapter 5. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand therefore firm and do not be subject again to the yoke of slavery. You're free in Christ. God bless.